Tonight, our continuing coverage of a deadly plane crash in Jamestown. Tonight, the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office confirms pilot Roger J. Rial of Toronto and David Hughes of British Columbia were the two victims of this afternoon's crash. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And I'm Scott Levin. Officials say the plane crashed in an area just northeast of the airport's main terminal shortly after taking off. Rial and Hughes, they had stopped to refuel at the Chautauqua County Airport during their flight from Erie, Pennsylvania to Waterloo, Ontario. Two on your sides, Andy Payton has been following this story all afternoon. He's at the Jamestown Airport tonight with the latest details. Andy? Scott and Mary Alice, officials here in Jamestown say what was supposed to be just a short stop quickly turned into a scene of unrecognizable remains. Tonight in Jamestown, black smoke captured rising from the runway and now yellow tape marking the scattered remains after an airport takeoff turned deadly. With two fatalities, it ranks up there as some of the tragic uh, crashes that we have seen. Officials say 52-year-old Roger J. Ryle of Toronto and 52-year-old David Hughes of British Columbia are now dead after the two men crashed 11 minutes into takeoff. It happened at 1.52 this afternoon after the two were fueling up in Jamestown aboard their Cirrus SR-22T from Oshawa and heading towards Waterloo when their single-engine plane crash landed into the brush in a small field just at the side of the runway. Officials say a parachute now seen at the crime scene was activated but couldn't prevent the aircraft from going up in flames. It was an intense uh, fire. As we stated, we believe it, it fueled up. I uh, believe the capacity of that uh, plane is 92 gallons, so it was likely 92 gallons of fuel on board. Investigators tonight now parsing through the decimated remains, working to determine what could have caused what was supposed to be a quick stop to turn into a deadly tragedy. Uh, especially the airport uh, firefighters that were here and up there, you know, and on scene within minutes, um, had, had to see some, you know, pretty tough things for them. Now the National Transportation Safety Board and the FAA will conduct a complete investigation. Officials here tonight hopeful that will help them provide answers for the victims' families. Reporting in Jamestown, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.